Krav Maga and kickboxing are both highly effective combat systems, but they have different origins, philosophies, and training approaches. While some practitioners may seek to combine elements of both, it's important to understand the strengths and focuses of each system before attempting to fuse them. Krav Maga is a self-defense system developed in Israel that emphasizes practical techniques for real-world situations. It combines elements of boxing, wrestling, judo, and street fighting, with a focus on neutralizing threats quickly and efficiently. Krav Maga training includes strikes, kicks, knee strikes, elbows, and clinching techniques, as well as defenses against various types of attacks, including grabs, chokes, and weapons. The goal of Krav Maga is to subdue the opponent as rapidly as possible by targeting vulnerable areas of the body and using aggressive, explosive movements. Kickboxing, on the other hand, is a combat sport that originated from a fusion of traditional martial arts and Western boxing. It involves a combination of punches, kicks, and knee strikes, and is often practiced in a competitive setting. Kickboxing techniques are designed to maximize power, speed, and flexibility, and practitioners focus on developing striking skills and conditioning. When it comes to fusing Krav Maga and kickboxing, it's important to consider the intended purpose and context. If the goal is to create a more well-rounded approach to self-defense, incorporating elements from both systems could be beneficial. For example, combining the aggressive striking techniques of kickboxing with the practical self-defense techniques of Krav Maga could enhance your ability to defend yourself in a real-life confrontation. However, it's crucial to recognize that the training methodologies and objectives of Krav Maga and kickboxing differ. Krav Maga places a strong emphasis on self-defense scenarios, including dealing with armed attackers and multiple opponents, while kickboxing focuses primarily on striking techniques and conditioning for sport-specific competition. Therefore, a fusion of the two systems would require careful integration and adaptation of techniques to ensure their effectiveness in different contexts. Ultimately, the effectiveness of any combat fusion depends on the skill, training, and adaptability of the practitioner. It's essential to train under qualified instructors who have experience in both systems and can guide you in blending the techniques effectively while considering the intended purpose of your training.